Now in this video, we're going to take a look at passing default value of the whole form all at once with a single object. As always, you could find rest of the React hook form videos and recommended references along with GitHub repository of the demo project in video description and inside the first comment of this video. We have already discussed passing default value of the input field while invoking the corresponding register method here instead of passing the default values to each of the methods like this. The library recommends passing the default value all at once with a single object. Now before getting into that, I want to add few more fields into this form here. So first of all, let's add the corresponding properties here, order number, which is of the type number, then email address of the customer. Now let's add the corresponding input fields. Now instead of showing the controls from top to bottom, I will wrap the controls within bootstrap grid so that we can have two controls within a single row. So first of all, we have the div having the class row. Let me zoom in a bit. Now to add some bottom margin of the range two, we can have this class. Now inside this div, we need two divs having this bootstrap class call. In order to add two divs like this, let's multiply it by two. So this works because of a meta abbreviation. Now hit tab. Now inside the first column, I want to show an input control for order number. So let me copy paste this div. Now since we have applied the bottom margin here, we don't need this extra margin. Now the placeholder will be like this, order number. Now we have to show the same inside the label. Now let's register this input field for order number. So here we have called the register method and we have to pass order number as the name. Now let's get rid of this default value. So here we have the HTML elements for order number. Now inside the second column here, I will show the mobile number text box, which we have already registered to the library. And this is how the form looks now. Both order number and mobile on first row. Now let's add the email input control. We forgot to remove the bottom extra margin from the mobile control. Now let's add the bootstrap row for customer name and email address. So here we have the div having class row such so that we need two divs with this class core. So multiply by two. Now hit tab. That's it. Now let's remove this extra bottom margin and let's move this element to the first column here. The number of HTML elements inside the form is increasing. We'll organize all of them once we discuss validation in next section. Now let's add the email text box. For that, I will just copy paste this div. Now using the shortcut Control D, I will update both placeholder and the label text like email. Now let's register the input control with the name email. And let's get rid of this default value. So this is how the form looks now. Sorry, we forgot to add the bottom margin inside the second row bottom margin of the range two. That's it. Now let's pass the default value to all of these form input fields. For that, we can make use of this property default value of the hook use form. So while invoking the hook use form, we'll pass it like this. Default values is equal to an object. Inside that, we'll pass the default value of these containing properties here. So let me copy paste this. Now select this string. Then I will use the shortcut Control D. So here we have selected all of those three words. Now let's replace them with an empty string. At the end, we have to pass a comma. Now the order number will be auto generated by the app itself. For simplicity, I will just pass milliseconds of the current time. So here we go, new date. And then we just need to call this method value off. Now let's check whether it works or not. See? the auto generated order number will be used to uniquely identify this order. So to prevent the app user from accidentally changing the input value, I will disable the input control here using the HTML attribute disabled. Now, even though we pass a non-empty string to the customer register method here, it's been overridden with what we have passed with this default value props of the use form hook. See here we have an empty string. And also in this context, passing default value to all input fields with a single object like this is more convenient. So let's get rid of this register option value. 
Now to this default values property we can also assign an async method to return an object containing the default values. We'll discuss that later.